Hi, I'm Lee Smith, um, Zane Smith's dad, who has CCM3 and multiple cavernomas. Um, Zane was first diagnosed at eight months old. Zane um, was very ill, and in the height of it, we was told he had swine flu. We had no reason to disbelieve it, um, but for the next 14 months, Zane was randomly very sick, very weak, um, started to go vacant in spells, and um, for 14 months was told that he had um, viral bugs, um, was teething, sickness bugs. Um, uh, two Christmases ago, it just got hit out of the whole month. He was well for maybe four or five of the days of the month. He was so poorly. Um, we had another appointment at the doctor's as to which we demanded that something be done um, as that something wasn't right. Zane spent four days in hospital. They run all sorts of tests. Um, couldn't find nothing at this point. Zane couldn't move out of bed. And um, was really quite poorly. Um, so then the following week we sent to Adam Brooks for a brain MRI um, which was then found to Zane had multiple cavernomas um, and one of them had hemorrhage which has caused Zane to be poorly. Um, for then after the following week we see a um, neurosurgeon at Adam Brooks um, of 28 years. He just said this is too rare for me um, and he would passed us on to a paediatric neurologist and um, we shook his hand and just said thanks for being honest. Um, we then see him. Um, he was very dismissive um, and we later found out very intimidated by Zane. Um, he's never come across somebody so young. Zane was only two at the time. Um, sent us in to see the paediatric epileptic nurse. Said this one's causing the sickness, this one's causing the vacant spells. Um, go next door and I set him up a plan for school was pretty much the outcome. Um, looking for more answers than, than what he could give, we then visited Great Ormond Street, again with not much information. Um, and then over the last year, um, early last year, which was 2012, um, Zane underwent genetic testing as he had multiple, um, and they found that Zane had had CCM3, which is the rarest and most aggressive um, genetic condition um, affecting maybe 60, 70 people worldwide. Um, late last year we then found out about a clinic in Chicago where Dr. Awad um, has a clinic. He's been working on um, mice with this condition, with mice and, and, and looking for a fix. Um, and, and last week before last, we went to Chicago. We took Zane. Um, they performed an MRI over there that isn't available here. Um, and we met Dr. Awad and got lots of advice and answers, which wasn't all pleasant, but we've got answers that we went looking for. Um, in the UK, the MRI that Zane has shows that he has 19 cavernomas, um, but in fact he has 40, which is what, one of them being in the brainstem, which doctors in the UK weren't aware of. Because of the CCM3, Zane has a 50% chance of brain hemorrhage, um, which will then slightly be reduced, not by much, when he reaches 15. So um, that's where we're currently at. Um,